what is going on everyone and welcome back to more black desert today i want to just make a quick psa note for all of you who are looking to get some pets in this game today in the patch they actually uh reverted a lot of the uh pets if you they were under level 10 with the change so basically if you had a character or a pet under level 10 um, you would have to level it up and then you just basically feed it and everything. They took that out with this patch and so there's tiers and then levels. And that might confuse some new players because what it used to do before was like the higher your pet level, the faster it loots. And they took out the levels, but the tiers are still there. And so the tiers just give you more skills and everything. And if you had one that was like level or under 10 at tier 1, Basically, it got sent back to your storage, and if you had extras from whatever, like login rewards or anything, you just kind of have a lot of them, and they're actually sellable. Well, some of them are if they weren't like event ones. So if you're looking to get a pet right now off the market without spending any real money, now is your chance because I'm sure a lot of veteran players and everything, myself included, these are all just sitting in my storage when I logged in and patched the game today. And so just make sure to put an order on whatever pet. And I kind of wanted to look at them on the market. So just in case you don't know how to do it, um, you go to your central market, pearl items, and then pet tab. And if you put an order on like certain ones, um, I assume that you'll probably get it. Now let's talk about the ones that I think that you should put an order on real quick. And look at these, the ones like the Desert Fox and a lot of the Marmot ones, I believe, are going to be on sale. Along with the bunny and some of the birds. Just because I remember over the years that those are the ones that were given away for free a lot. So let's make sure to look at these because these are just all the ones. I haven't bought any pets in years. They were all just given from events, so... Yeah, just make sure to look at these. I'll just hover over them real quick so you can put an order on the ones you can. Uh, this one was an event one, actually. So birds and a lot of these, I think the important ones are Desert Fox. So I have a video on what pets I think are good and what you should go for. But for the sake of what you should get, I just want to run through this real quick just for all of you guys. So as you guys know, Pets do different things, whether you're a life skiller, a PvE-er, PvP-er. Um, I just wanted to run through some things that I think might be important to you, and especially if you're free to play and you don't want to spend any real money on the game. Um, one, the Arctic Fox. This is basically the equivalent of one for me. And the one you should get and turn to Tier 5 is like the Arctic Fox one because it gives item drop rate. So every tier gives 1%, and of course, if you have to tier 5, and you can only have one of them out at any given time. Um, this one will be good just for the item drop rate. Helps everyone universally good. Uh, a Hedgehog is for all of you life skillers out there. It has a chance of double proccing, and then that's just like more silver per gather session, which is always good. And then the Polar Bear just means more weight, and it gives Tet, or I think... Um, I think it's just straight up 50, or it could be 10 per. So let me actually double check that. Um, I don't have a lower tier polar bear, I don't think. But anyway, extra weight, always nice, family-wide, so you don't have to buy it on multiple characters. Pretty good to have. The new Vermont pet is actually something you can get from doing the Nuver questline. So basically, due to blood spawn um, Nuver multiple times and it's kind of expensive it's like 30 billion silver and is it worth it i don't really think so aside from if you want the nuverkin outfit the title and the pet but what it does is gives you 100 hp across your family and at endgame we talked about this in our video previously when i talked about accessories like should you buy a i don't know eye of the ruins or voltara belt the ones that give HP, and do I value 100 HP versus 1 AP at like 30 billion silver at very high end? Um, so that's kind of how I looked at it, and so getting an extra 100 per family is always nice, um, but is it worth 30 billion? That's really up to you, and it, when it comes in a pet form, I think it, it has some value there. 
And some extra tips I can give to all of you guys is if you are a new player and you get stuck in the desert, this is like an old trick that most people did, you know, back in the day. So if you were in the desert, you know how you don't have a mini map, right? If you ever got lost out there, you could have your pet ping a resource and then it'll be like showing you where you are so you can get a general idea. Um, nowadays, it's like you don't really need it, but I mean, it's just good to have good to know quick tip, I guess. And then, yeah, that's about it. But hopefully I just wanted to make a quick video telling you that you could probably buy pets if you put an order on it now, just because after today's patch, there was a lot of uh, returns in pets. So yeah, good luck. Hopefully you guys get all your tier fours without spending money and hopefully you guys get good stats on it. I'll see you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.